What's going on guys? Oddball Reefer here back at it with another video. It is Sunday the 28th of January. It's hard to think. This month has flew by uh, but I am super excited to start pumping out videos for you guys. Uh, last week we kind of just did a brief like little update on what's been going on in my life and with the tanks and such. Uh, but in today's video we're going to do a little bit more in-depth um, talk on the Caribbean Reef. Uh, a lot of changes have happened since I've done a video on this tank, so I'm going to kind of go through each and every tank and explain what's been going on and some of the changes that I've made. Let's dive in. so this tank has changed a lot since the last time i really showed you guys on youtube uh kind of just new stock um a lot of the stock that i used to have was just super aggressive and you couldn't keep much of the smaller more docile fish um in the reef so uh, i changed it up i added some blue reef chromas a couple different blennies um that i collected uh, we got royal grandmas we got quite a few different kinds of gobies in here uh green bandits um and then a couple uh, tiger gobies and then we've got a trio of chalk bass um and then a rasp bass uh just a lot of different kinds of fish just kind of mixing it up uh, adding some diversity that i wasn't really able to add uh when i had some of the more aggressive fish like the bluehead ras the uh, spotted soap fish uh, and just many others that were just super aggressive and that would literally go after chalk bass and gobies and just kill them off uh, so I was super excited because uh, now I get to keep a bunch of different kinds of inverts too. We have a Caribbean Scarlet Cleaner, um, Coral Banded Shrimp, and a couple other different kinds of shrimps. We have Anemone Shrimp. We have uh, Curly Q Shrimp. Uh, we have th th This tank is just so diverse now. I'm able to add so many different organisms that I wasn't able to before. Uh, so I'm super excited because there's still a lot of things that I would actually like to add to this tank as far as invertebrates grow. Uh, I think on fish, I'm pretty well done, uh, except for maybe a Brazilian flameback angel, just to kind of finish this thing off. Um, there is a lot of stock in this tank, uh, but underneath this tank, we have a uh, algae scrubber um, that helps keep my nutrients at bay. Uh, I have to clean out the algae scrubber probably about once a week. Uh, I just grow so much algae because I feed this tank a lot. There's a lot of fish in here, and I enjoy feeding the Gorgonians and the Favias. Um, and a couple of the scolemia that I have and the St. Thomas mushrooms and some of the recordia. Um, so I just like to, uh, you know, uh, try to remove the nutrients the best I can. Uh, I do uh, water changes every other week on this system. Um, just simply because I feel like it just needs to be done and it's kind of just a refresher even though the nutrients isn't sky high. Um, but with this algae scrubber, I'm able to actually remove nutrients pretty well. Uh, it keeps the nutrients uh, rather low for a tank like this with this kind of stock. Um, but yeah, we have a bunch of different kinds of serpent stars. I got some crazy cool deep water serpent stars that a buddy of mine collected. Uh, super unique, super cool. I'm always fascinated to see what he's able to bring in. Well, guys, thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just a quick deep dive on the Caribbean Reef. If you do have any questions um, on the reef tank or um, any other random questions you might have for me, leave them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. With that said, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to be the fish and feed them corals. We'll see you next time.